back to another video guys. Today we're gonna be doing an install on my 2020 low rider S. And right here, what do we have here? We have, woo, that was close. Fresh off the line, fresh off the press, we got these fresh Leather Pro bags. These things are super sick. So yes, this video is gonna be sponsored by Leather Bros. Thank you so much for sending these out to me, guys. If you guys already know, like I used to run Leather Pros on my Dyna before, and I absolutely love those things. These are one of the most popular bags out there that you can put for your Harley, and obviously they are popular for a reason. We'll go over those reasons right now. Number one, they look great. Number two, quality is amazing, made here in the US of A. And then number three, you got all that ample amount, well, ugh, ample, ample, ample amount of space. Ample amount of space. So yes, they do come this way, but you can extend them. And with these, you're gonna have about 25% more space than where you are gonna have on, let's say, my Rogue Glide Special. Any bagger bags? These beat it. So these will be any bagger bags. There's more space in these all day long. Now, when it comes to the install, it's very, very easy. I always say this, guys, I'm nowhere near a mechanic. I just work, I'm okay with my hands, but literally, like anybody could do this. My four-year-old could probably put these bags on. Uh, so yeah, we'll just show you what comes in the package. So this is the box right here that both bags come in. Nice and packed up. Inside, you're gonna have some directions. You're gonna have some Leather Pro stickers. Awesome, we'll put this on the sticker wall. You're gonna have this bag right here for all your nuts and bolts and all that good stuff. And then you're also gonna have two ball size options. So if you are running, let's say a sissy bar or something else in addition where you're gonna need an extra long bolt, you're gonna have these three inch. After the bags are on, we'll give you guys a nice little in-depth look of what the bags look on the bike, off the bike. Little details of the bags as well because these have a few little different little minor things than the previous ones. Really quick, what I want to show you is because I already made this mistake. I already went ahead and I installed the other side. But I had a very, very long day today and I couldn't get, yeah, put this the wrong way before. So, so you're going to have your bolt, you're going to have your stud mount which is gonna go straight like that. So you should have a nice little oval shape right there. It shouldn't be the other way around because you won't be able to get those in the holes that way. After that, you're gonna go ahead and add your spacer on and pretty much you just screw this on. So let's get onto the install and yeah. So all we're gonna be taking off is these two bolts right here. That comes off and then we put the new ones on and put the bags in. That's how easy it's gonna be. Just be very careful because there is a back plate behind here, behind the fender, and you don't want that falling off. So let's just start by loosening this up a bit. Now don't forget, you're also gonna need some Loctite. We're gonna give this a little dab and put this inside. We can hand tighten it first, just to put it in place. Then we could uh, wrench everything in. And now we can start tightening everything up. Now, after we got the hardware on, it's pretty much pretty simple what we gotta do. Just gonna turn this bag around. And you're gonna lift it all the way up. You wanna open it. It's gonna allow those holes to literally open up. And all you gotta do is line everything up, the latches. Then you're gonna push the latch down so it get all locked in. Once you hear that clap, it's locked in. It's not gonna go anywhere from that. is that they do have a locking mechanism inside. So once you open the top up, zipper comes out, you're gonna have a key in there which locks in and you can take that key out. So once everything's locked in, you'll see how it feels. You take that key out and you can take it with you, uh, which is pretty amazing. You don't really gotta worry about anybody stealing your bags. 
Um, another thing, probably one of my favorite things about these bags that are so convenient that, for example, if you are on the road, you are hitting those long distance miles, you are going out of state, these bags also serve as luggage. So you can literally take your bags off, they're already filled up with all your belongings, walk into your hotel room, your house, wherever, those, wherever it is you're going, your campsite, you're walking away with those two bags and then you're putting them back on whenever you're ready. Um, Something else that's very very convenient is that you can also take them off very easy the same way you put them on We're gonna take them off. Or we're gonna just come over here on this side lift this latch up Once you got everything lift up Walk away with it. That's how easy it is to put on and take off Now you're also gonna have several compartments in here so right in the front you're gonna have your main small compartment which zippers up you put a lot of stuff in there um, once we unbutton the top you're gonna have your main compartment right here which zippers all the way around but then you're also gonna have that option of if you want to carry more belongings and stretch everything out it does come with a secondary zipper right here which I am unzipping and what happens is that the bag expands and that's what allows you to have that extra ample amount of space right there so now we got at least four more inches or five inches of, of more space, which is pretty, pretty dope, man. That's probably like one of the coolest things. Now for these new design bags, they also went ahead and they added the logo to the buttons, which I think was a really nice touch. It just adds a bit more style to it. Very, very nice. Sometimes uh, some people do have a bit of an issues um, taking off these buttons, uh, but all you gotta do with that is just add a little WD-40 in them and it loosens everything up and it makes everything much, much easier. So we went ahead and we did the install. We spoke about the compartments. Uh, we spoke about that it's made in the US of A. We spoke about how easy it is to take off the bags. We also spoke about you using them as luggage. I think what else is there? It's just these bags are really phenomenal, guys. I really, really do recommend them. Like I said before, I had them on my diner and I absolutely love those things. Reason why I had to get these is because the ones on the Dyna didn't fit this bike. It's because it's a different bike. If you guys are interested in buying these bags, hit the link down below. I'm gonna be linking up the Leather Pros website down in the description box. And don't forget to make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that bell button that's on notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. There's a lot more stuff coming. I'm working on this bike, working on my 2021 Rogue Glide Special and also that Sporty in the back. So lots of projects, lots of videos. I'm gonna catch you in the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.